Okay, so this was Teenage Critics' first fashion-related event, and I was really excited because I had never been before, and I watched Project Runway Season 7 religiously, like I bet a lot of you did. And, okay, so we got there, and I immediately felt underdressed. <laughs> So, when I was interviewing the designers, the first one was David Chung, and I, we, we went backstage, and um, he's a really talented designer, like really edgy, and his work is awesome. Um, but he seemed very, you know, a little high strung, didn't really want to, want to make the time for Teenage Critic, but he did, and we appreciated that. Hi, you're watching Teenage Critic, and we're here backstage at Providence Style Week. I'm here with David Chung. Um, so tell me, how long have you been preparing for tonight? Um, a few months, I guess. Like, I really don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> All right. <laughs> how many models do you have in the show? I have eight models total. <laughs> Thank you for talking with us. You're welcome. Yeah, so then we moved through, like, we, we kind of weaved through all the models into the hair and makeup room, and we talked to some of the people doing the hair and makeup for the models, and, like, this is, like, my dream, like, being able to talk to these people, because I have been, like, working on hair and makeup for myself for, like, years. After that, I interviewed um, Jonathan Peters, and I was actually really nervous. I didn't expect to be nervous at all. On the car ride there, I was speaking into my iPhone and um, trying to like think of questions, you know. And when I got there, I couldn't remember a single question. And I was like, I was just, you know, like a tiny bit starstruck. Because he's, he's really like a fantastic designer and everyone was talking about him being there. And I saw him on the show. So I finally like started to like, started the interview. And he immediately was like, I think maybe he could tell that I was nervous. Because he was like really open and really sweet and he seemed like even though he was like totally busy and totally overworked he still made the time for us hi i'm grace and we're still here at providence style week i'm here with jonathan peters who was on project runway season seven and who is one of the lead designers here at style week hi jonathan hey how are you grace how has this night been for you so far um a little crazy it just got crazy actually you know last minute fittings last minute alterations rehearsals about to start it's really showtime is this your first year doing Providence Style Week? No, this is my fourth season with Providence Fashion, uh, sorry, Style Week Providence. It's, um, I've been doing it since the very beginning, so since um, spring, summer of 2011. Does Style Week and like runway experiences help you learn as a designer? Like help you improve on your next collections and stuff like that? Yeah, I believe that Style Week Providence offers young independent designers the true runway show experience to know how to handle press, handle backstage pressures, handle creating a full concept from styling down to shoes and accessories, yeah. So you're from Rhode Island, right? I am from Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Yeah. Okay, cool. How did you get involved in um, going on Project Runway, which is a, a really big deal for people who love fashion? Um, I actually auditioned a few times. And then the last time for season seven, they contacted me and they asked me to come in. I think they had kind of narrowed down who they were interested in first. And then they approached us and kind of asked us to come in for an audition. So the experience must have been like really mind blowing for you. Um, was it was it like surreal? Yeah, I felt like I was in my own TV. You know, I feel like I'm living on one of my favorite TV shows. It was great. So you followed it like before you got oh, on? Yeah, I was a huge fan. Still am a huge fan. It was just so fun. I think it's one of the best shows, you know, for fashion junkies. Were any of the judges or hosts like mentors to you? Uh, Tim Gunn is amazing. Tim Gunn actually is um, a man of his word. He says exactly what he thinks. And he, um, you know, he really just gives you honest criticism. And he likes to know that you can edit your own work. Right, cool. And our show, Teenage Critic, is largely art and education based. Mm -hmm. and fashion event but do you think that it would be like beneficial for kids my age like 17 18 to have the option of taking design and fashion courses in school 
I think any kind of art teaches children to think freely and teenagers to think freely. It also teaches them creative problem solving and it teaches a level of discipline just like dance and music. Um, it really teaches you follow through as well when you create a project. So I think it's, it's beneficial for everyone. All right, and one last question. Do you have like a particular theme for your line tonight? Yes, my collection is called Zingara Lamina, which means gypsy layer. And so it's actually a post-apocalyptic, luxurious gypsy. So That sounds amazing. I can't wait to see it. Thank you, Thank you so much Thank for talking you. to us. Hi, I'm here with Jess Abernethy at Style Week Providence. So Jess, do you want to tell me uh, what you're doing here? I'm one of the designers that's showing tonight. I'll be opening up the night. That's so awesome. Now, about how many, uh, how many models do you have here tonight? I have six models, 15 looks. And how long have you been preparing to, um, for this tonight? I've been working on this collection for about five months. And what would you say uh, that this collection has any theme or it's kind of... It had a theme. I sort of strayed away from the theme a little bit, but um, it's pretty much just winter fun, kind of, you know, fun, fun outfits to wear, like after a long day on the slopes. Now, is this your first collection in Style Week Providence? No, this will be my fourth. I've been with them since the beginning. And what if any other fashion shows um, were your collections part of? Uh, none, recently. Style Week happens twice a year, so it keeps me pretty busy. Um, now, the first time that your your collection was part of Style Week, um, how did you feel about that? Oh, it was amazing. This is the first time I'd ever done anything on this scale, anything um, with this kind of an audience. It was just awesome. Yeah. Now, a lot of uh, kids are interested in fashion, and how, would you, how did you get started in this? Well, my great-grandmother was a seamstress. My mother sewed all of her clothes, um, so it just, it's kind of in the family. And um, yeah, I started sewing at a really young age and then I went to school for it. Um, do you have any inspirations for your collections or is it more of your own thing? It, they come from everywhere. Um, the first collection I did for Style Week was um, Hollywood divas from the 30s. Um, this one, like I said, is winter fun time. The last collection, the inspiration was a painting. So it's kind of, it comes from everything. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.